In this tutorial, we are going to see how to analyze Likert scale survey using Jamovi, which is a free software. So this is the user interface of Jamovi. I want to import this data. So I just need this to be in CSV format. Then I could just go to uh, open. Then I will just uh, browse the data, this PC, then browse. Okay. Then the desktop and open. So this is the data. So now I have all the variables, gender, generation, semester, etc. I have the Likert scales coded already from one to four. And uh, there is a way to code them. I just can't show it to you via the previous videos that I have. So here I need to test descriptive statistics, mainly the frequencies, percentages, along with the mean and standard deviation. So I just need to go to exploration, then descriptives. Then I want to see the gender, for instance. I will just move it here and check uh, frequency tables. And here are the frequency tables in a very easy manner. You could just customize them here by looking at the missing, the... the if I want to include other statistics, for instance, I can just check that from here and uh, minimum, maximum, standard deviation, etc. So I could just customize this further, especially if I have continuous variable, I could do the same for current semester or generation. So this is for generation, as you can see, most people are generation Z. So I could just uh, copy these tables and uh, paste them to um, Microsoft Office Word. Uh, for the liquid scale items, I could do the same. Uh, for example, this one, tell this one. So I just move them this way and I could just uh, check uh, and check frequency tables. I want to have the mean, the median, the standard deviation, the minimum, the maximum, the sconis and kurtosis for the uh, normality. So I could just have this table like that. I could just uh, copy it to Excel uh, or export it to Excel, etc. So I could do many things uh, with regard to it. So this is like the um, way we can analyze liquid scale uh, data using Jamovi. So here, this this. Statistics here, the N stands for the sample size, the, the mean score or the average, like from one to four. So the higher the mean score, the more whatever the content of the liquid scale is, like in terms of frequency or agreement, etc. Then the median, the midpoint value, then the standard deviation, like how each respondent differs from the other. Then the minimum value, the maximum value, the sconis, the kurtosis, etc. So this is like a five point liquid scale. And here we have sconis, kurtosis, and it should be minus uh, with anything between minus 3 and plus 3 so that the data could be described as normal. And here you could have also some uh, references and citations, which is really interesting. So this is why um, Jamovi is easy in terms of uh, analyzing uh, surveys fast. And it is free to use, so I, I will just keep um, posting other videos. And see you soon. Bye for now.